Hey everyone, it's Maria here. Uh, this is a video response VR to Annika, the Seed Priestess, to Michelle, Moonlit Opal, and Chris, who's invoking the balance. Now, the video was first, I think, posted up by Annika, and it's about the golden years of YouTube, which for me were 2010, 2011, and very early 2012, when I mainly made videos and took was a part of the pagan community. Now, um, one thing I miss about those days was the VR capabilities we could do, because now we can't really make a VR, you kind of have to, if you upload a video response to someone, you kind of have to post in the comments or message it to them personally, and be like, hey, I made this video response to you, and that person can see it, yes, but it's kind of hard for other subscribers and other watchers to be able to see your two cents on that topic. So. I'm sorry, I'm like in my little meditational area space. It's kind of small and cute, but it works for me. Um, now, with that being said, by being able to do VRs and things like that, I feel like it made it better, f made it easier for us to communicate with one another, and thus making us a very tight-knit pagan community on YouTube. Now, with that being said, there was drama, and all three ladies mentioned it, that there was a sense of drama, and I... I can honestly say this is one of the main reasons why I've never made vlogs, video vlogs, because I've seen where people would post vlogs. They'd either make a rant about something that happened to them, you know, talk about their week or something, and another person from the community, either from the community or outside the community, but another person would say something mean or hateful, make a video response, you know, bashing that person, and drama would just come out of nowhere and explode and it honestly deterred me from making a lot of video logs. You know, I might have made a couple but I never really did and I really hope I do change that because I feel like now our community we're building back up is going it's going to be different because I feel like it's not more organized but we're more in touch with each other now especially since we have the Facebook pages and you know these discussions topics going on we're all and we all you know basically agree that there was some pretty bad drama and we're all gonna try to stay away from that because <clears throat> looking back on it it was really sad to see because you know as pagans and wiccans and pantheists and people of you know the earth-based spiritual nature new age we are still a minority you know compared to you know, the rest of the world, the dominancy of the Abrahamic religions and things like that, you know. And we are one of the most stigmatized religions too. And I felt like back then we shouldn't have been bashing each other, you know, we should have been working together to get our message out there. Like, you know, as in like saying like this is who we really are, you know, we're not this, we're not that, stop stereotype us to look like this kind of thing. We should have been working together and making a stronger community to be able to show people who we really are, show them the truth and how beautiful our spirituality is to us, you know, and how we're just trying, you know, to live our lives and to help one another, and that wasn't the case. And I feel like that was a lot of, a lot of the reason why a lot of, like, a lot of famous and older YouTubers who haven't been on as much, aren't on as much, you know. I mean, Michelle stopped, Annika stopped. She had, oh, Annika has Oathbound Secrets, but like she stopped her personal channel after a while. Um, Chris stopped posting videos. Wicked Gem, you know, I stopped posting videos. But um, the drama wasn't mainly the reason why I stopped making videos. I mean, if you saw my confessional video, you would see, for me, it was more of a personal thing more some spiritual rebirth I was going through, you know, something I had to, you know, fight through myself because I was in a really bad rut, but the drama didn't help and it certainly prevented me and hindered me from getting really too personal with my subscribers and my fellow pagan YouTubers because I was scared. I don't want to put myself out there and then, you know, get hated on because I've seen it happen so many times. And, but I have a really good feeling now that we're building back up our community it's not going to be like that, you know. I mean, we'll probably have some, like, people who are outside the community who don't understand, you know, they might be hateful or something, but I don't feel like those who are in the community, like, on the Facebook pages and stuff, you know, and people who are really honest and, you know, really want to get to know us aren't going to be hateful, especially since we're a community and we're all working together. It's kind of hard to, you know, like for like a one predator to freaking attack, you know, a herd of antelope or something, you know, it's like, 
one lone hyena or lion or something, there's like a, all of us standing together, you know, it's kind of hard to bash us without getting scared. <laughs> but um, Chris did make an interesting point about how life, like, life is about rebirth and renewal and stuff. I mean, yes, we're never going to go back to the old community, but part of me is actually kind of glad because even though we were really tight-knit, there was still like, it was kind of clickish. I, mean, I don't know, but to me it was kind of clickish. People had their groups and stuff like that. And maybe that was one of the things that, you know, caused the drama. But like, I have noticed like, certain people may, I mean, I was guilty of this a little bit. But, um, a lot of people would have their own little, you know, clicks, you know, YouTube clicks, and they make video responses to each other and back up each other and stuff. And then if one person said they didn't like someone, they'd all agree without really, you know, watching that person's videos or getting to know them. And I admit, um, part of me was a little guilty about that too. I hope we, not as bad, because I try not to start the drama, you know, kind of thing, but I can understand how that happened. But, like Chris said, it's about renewal and stuff, and so I'm hoping this new community, this new, sorry, I keep playing things in my hands, I'm just a nervous habit, but I'm really hoping that we can, now we're building this new community, we can move past that. We can move past the drama and past the clicks. You know, we all connect with each other and all and get to know each other and support each other as we should because together we stand strong. To divided we're weak and we were divided and that weakened us and made more and more more and more of us post less and less videos. And like Chris said, you know, the drama kind of like pushed her away from it a little bit, you know. And I feel like that was a lot of reasons why a lot of people stopped making videos because we became divided and became weaker and weaker and started dwindling out, you know. It's like holding like a handful of sand, though you divide it with your fingers and stuff starts falling through, the, everything starts falling through the cracks and soon you like have nothing left in your hand except like maybe a couple grains of sand. And that's how I feel like it works, worked in my mind because we were all like together then we became cliquish and all fell apart. And I'm hoping now with these Facebook pages we can we've passed that and I feel like we can I have a really good feeling you know about this new community that we're building up and I freaking hope YouTube puts the VR system back up and anyone who's a YouTube you know programmer or whatever put the VR system back up please <laughs> and it makes it so much easier for us who genuinely want to get to know a person and talk and discuss a topic with them but for now I guess I'll have to suck it up and post comments so Annika, Michelle, and Chris expect to comment on your videos. <laughs> but, I don't know. Anyone else has any thoughts about this? Oh, and also, there are some... I'm guilt I need to find new subscribers. So if anyone has any new subscribers, um, that there's, like, new people they're subscribed to, new pagans and spiritualists on YouTube that they recommend, comment below, you know, message me. Um, the, one of the Facebook communities I'm part of ha, like makes has a list, an ongoing list about that, and I need to find time to go through that and see who I want to subscribe to or not. Cause I do, cause a lot of the old people you know I used to be subscribed to are stopped making videos or they made new channels I don't know about. And if you are a pagan or a Wiccan or you're spiritual in some sort of way and you'd like me to see your videos, I would love to watch them because now I'm getting back on my path. I need to be able to connect with others again because when I was in my rut I disconnected myself from everyone because it was painful for me but now that I'm finally back where I'm supposed to be I'm kind of like very open I want to I'm like a sponge let me absorb everything <laughs> but I don't know if anyone else wants to make a video about you know the old YouTube golden years or putting their two cents or like opinions about it you know I'd love to hear it because and that's what we're here for we're all here to talk to each other and rebuild our community and, you know, not get back to the golden years, but create a new, year, create new golden years, you know, for us, new years of awakening, you know, of hopefully no more drama. I mean, there's going to be a little bit, but if, you, if we all can, myself and everyone else, we can all, you know, do our best to be as loving and compassionate towards each other and be understanding then I feel like that would be good. And if someone you feel like is causing drama or would make you cause drama, you know, just shut that person out. You know, don't let them have that power over you. So that's just my my thoughts on the whole golden years and 
things that happened back then and I'm really looking forward to this new YouTube community that we're building. I love you all. Namaste. Blessed be.